What's up, I'm Jeff Haines from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Acer Aspire M5 583P laptop. We've noticed that with some Ultrabooks and laptops out there, you can get either a good looking laptop or a functional laptop, but not frequently a combination of the two. Acer's Aspire M5 attempts to bridge the gap between these two classifications, packing some serious hardware into an attractive package. But just how well does it perform? Here's our review. The Acer Aspire M5 that we reviewed was powered by a 4th generation Intel Core i5 4200U processor running at 1.6GHz that could be boosted up to 2.6GHz via turbo. It came with 6GB of RAM and is supplemented by Intel HD Graphics 4400. It packed a 500GB hard drive spinning at 5400 RPM, and content was displayed on a 15.6-inch multi-touch LED LCD backlit display with a native resolution of 1366 by 768 it also packed wide eye support, four speakers with Dolby Home Theater support, two USB 2.0 ports and one USB 3.0 port, HDMI and mini display ports, and an SD card slot. What initially stood out to us about the Aspire M5 was the fit and the finish of the system. The computer measures less than an inch thick when closed. Its exterior and the case surrounding the keyboard are aluminum, making the system feel sturdy while looking very professional. The bottom of the machine is rubberized metal with four foot pads, preventing the computer from sliding around. The design of the Aspire M5 is sleek and simple, looking better than lots of other computers out there, and would fit in either a professional or a personal setting. We like the island style backlit keyboard, which was a full alphanumeric plank. The keys are the right size, its spacing prevents you from being cramped, and its responsiveness is clear enough to not rattle your fingers when you type. Its backlighting produces a soft glow around the keys and the letters, making this perfect when you use it in the dark. We found that the battery life of the Aspire M5 was outstanding. While it's not removable, it lasts for a very long time. In fact, during one short test, we powered through four hours of movies and the battery remained above 50%, so we were confident that we'd be able to use the machine for almost a full workday without having to plug it in. Recharges of the computer were very quick, taking less than two hours to fully complete. Other machines may be more efficient with their power usage, but the Acer really squeezed a lot of juice out of this battery. On top of this, we like some design decisions made by Acer for the system. The left and right sides pack USB 2.0 ports, while the rear of the machine has an always-on USB 3.0 port to charge your USB-powered devices. The addition of an HDMI and mini display port means that you can actually connect the system to monitors with higher resolutions, especially because the mini display port can technically produce better than full HD resolution. All of this helps slim down the system, especially with the elimination of the optical drive to reduce the thickness of the computer. While we thought the M5 looked great and was well built, it was clear that there were some design shortcuts around the system. First off was the touchscreen, which was supposed to be multi-touch, but suffered from response delays and jittery motions during swipes and other commands. On top of that, we were hoping that we'd get a 15.6 inch display that was full HD, but instead, the system caps out at 1366 by 768, a resolution that's much more native to 13 or 11 inch screens. A display with a screen size should take advantage of the larger screen real estate, and should easily go up to at least 1600 by 900 instead of this limited resolution. We also had some issues with the touchpad of the system. While the touchpad was large, we ran into problems with many of its features which just seemed ineffective. For example, right clicking only seemed to work if you placed your finger on the front one and a half inches of the pad into its far right, otherwise it disregarded your commands. Unfortunately, it also felt like this was a bit of an experiment, because it seemed like the exact position of where you needed to click constantly moved. As a result, we found ourselves using the touchscreen much more than we ever wanted to use the touchpad. We were also surprised by some of the quirks of the laptop. For one thing, the system is surprisingly heavy. It weighs in at 5.6 pounds, which isn't a lot, but given that it has a small battery and eliminates the optical drive, you'd expect the computer to be closer to 3 pounds. We also expected that there would be more USB 3.0 ports on the computer than the three that are featured, with much more of them being USB 3.0 ports instead of two. It's the newer technology, so it would make sense that it would stand out over the outdated USB 2.0. Plus, it would have been much better to put the always-on port on the side of the computer instead of on the back, making it much easier to access. The Acer Aspire M5 is a slick laptop that performed well and is nicely designed, 
we really liked the extended battery life of the system and felt that we could easily get our work done without a lot of issues, which was definitely thanks to some of the minimal bloatware found on the computer. We still wish that it had a much better display and a better trackpad, but even with these issues, the M5 performed better than expected. As a result, we decided to give the Acer Aspire M5583P a 4 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Acer Aspire M5583P, be sure to check out the bit.ly link below. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.